You're watching Ignition GT. Hi there and welcome to the show. Now, it's not every day that fans of oval track racing, drifting and drags all get something to look forward to in the same place. But that's exactly what the Rock Raceway on the Joburg East Rand had in store a few weekends ago. We were there to catch up with all the action. The Rock Raceway on the Johannesburg East Rand recently presented the first of its Rock Mania events. And with a name like that, the event was sure to be far from ordinary. Judging by the driver's antics, you'd be forgiven for thinking there were a few maniacs on the loose. But there's definitely method to the madness. Motor racing has sort of gone downwards a bit. And we feel that we need to bring up the racing and get the spectators more in involved with, with the racing that we've got here. So we come up with an idea of doing a Rock Mania event. Basically what we've decided to do is incorporate uh, three events in one. We decided to put your drifting, our oval racing and a bit of drag racing together and give the spectators a bit of insight of what motor racing is all about in South Africa. Control is important in any motorsport, but even more so in drifting, where it's a very short way between the cones and the wall. This is what makes drifting so exciting. And the thing about drifting is going sideways. It's the thrill of looking at a wall all of a sudden, then all of a sudden the wall is gone and you're looking at the crowd. And you don't look at the front window. It's all the side window action and the smoke and the adrenaline. The crowds, it's just beautiful. I love it. Entertaining as all the sideways action may be, drifting is also a technically demanding sport. Drifting is based on uh, where the competitor takes a vehicle, loses control, and try and bring the vehicle back under control. Now, what we do is we score the, the, the drifter on points. Uh, he's got to be able to clip a, a clipping point, which is a, a cone, uh, or a designated area, and he gets scored on how close he can get to the, to the clipping point. From there, um, he gets judged on style, the angle of the drift, and, you know, obviously, a bit of showmanship that he can put up for the spectators. If all that sounds harder than the drivers make it look, you're right. And there's more. The part that excites me is the tandems. The more pressure you've got with the other car, it's more fun. And it's, that's what I'm saying. The drifting is all about adrenaline, enjoying. And I think when you're competing with the other cars in the same track and everything, it's more fun. They qualify for, for the tandems with two competitors, obviously shoot out for, for, for the night and that's where it gets exciting because the competitor in the second position needs to mirror the leading competitor whatever move he does in front he's got to mirror and try and uh, make up and get as close as possible to, to his vehicle. Of course a lot of time and money also go into the cars to ensure they remain competitive and safe. Every time you go drift you have to take the car back to the mechanic he has to put back the touches and you have to love the car, for, in fact, for everything, right? For the car to carry on doing and doing. We do have a lot of expenses, but it's worth it. While drifting is still relatively new on the South African scene, oval track racing has been a motor racing mainstay for decades. We've got uh, approximately uh, 10 different categories. Uh, we start off with the ninja classes, which is the junior kids, um, up to the age of about 12 years old. Uh, they race in their little carts. Then we've got the minis, um, for the youngsters between the ages of 8 and 16, which is your Paka Mini Saloon. And then we've got the various other categories. Some of these drivers may not be old enough to apply for a driver's license, but they know their way around a racetrack. I like watching the Formula One on Super Sport, and then that's how I got interested in racing. Well, my grandpa started racing, and then I told him I want to start racing, and then he bought me a Mini, so then I began. No matter their age, these drivers all have one thing in common. It's a Mini 1100, and it looks fast. I like the way it's painted, and it's fast, that's what I like. That's right, it's speed. And it's not only men who can't resist its temptation. 
Uh, the adrenaline, of course. You know, the fastness, the living in the fast lane. That's just from a child. We've been doing off-road racing, now it's cars. And the men better watch out because these ladies mean business. At the moment, I am second on the US point, so I have to drive now. Sugar! For those who prefer their racing in a straight line, the Rock Raceway offers drag racing with a bit of twist. We've come up with an idea of uh, Iceland Dice Robot to Robot Street Racing. The guys used to do Robot to Robot Racing, and we've now brought that concept to our track and we've done it on a 200 meter circuit. It may not be the usual quarter mile strip, but these drivers certainly enjoyed themselves and so did the spectators. I actually find it very exciting because before they used to be just drifting and now there's quite a variety, so it actually makes it more exciting. Well, basically I'm here with every meeting basically, yeah, and uh, I enjoy it very much. That these events consistently draw in the region of 3,000 spectators is a testament to its success. Or, to put it another way... Because the rock rocks! Well, that's it for this weekend. Just before we do go, though, we recently offered three lucky viewers and their partners the chance to win the Ferrari experience of a lifetime. The winners will get treated to a VIP experience, including a drive around the racetrack, as well as Ferrari merchandise. And uh, these are our very lucky winners. Well done to you. Well, that's all we have time for this week. Until next weekend, look after yourself. We'll see you on the roads. Bye-bye.